The origin of these ten technological creations. Video games. Patented in 1948, the cathode ray tube amusement device was a massive, closet-mounted cathode ray computer. As for the gameplay itself, knobs were used to adjust the speed and trajectory of an artillery shell that the player aimed at the predestined point on the screen. These points were overlain with transparent pictures of aeroplanes. In other words, the aeroplane images were actually placed on top of the screen. After all, this was the 40s, and the level of graphical detail needed for an in-game plane would have been impossible. Next, the player would try to hit the target by maneuvering his artillery shell toward the present point or aeroplane. If the player managed to hit the target, the shell would blur, simulating an explosion. Mobile phones Mobile phones have been around a lot longer than you would probably suspect. The first true mobile phone was available way back in 1922. Although this device was labelled as a wireless telephone, it was not what we consider a mobile phone today. Nevertheless, it was a way to wirelessly connect with friends and family members over great distances, and in the 1920s that was quite an achievement. The device was a kind of one-way crystal radio that was used to listen to messages. It was large and required an umbrella to act as the antenna. Antenna. However, it didn't need a power source since the antenna provided the energy. Old advertisements for the phone appealed to women who wanted to call their husbands wherever they were at the moment. Of course, that also meant hubby had to carry the bulky radio and constantly listen for the phone call. Given all that, it's not surprising this particular device never caught on. Bras. A recent discovery has placed the invention of the bra in the 1400s. A team of archaeologists unearthed a vault of ancient clothes in Castle Lengberg, located in Tyrol, Austria. Inside the vault were 2,700 textile fragments. Among the shoes, shirts and cod pieces were four examples of medieval bras. Each bra was differently designed. One looked like the longline bra of the 1950s, with an extra piece that extended down the ribcage. This particular bra was fastened with lace. Another was elaborately decorated with needle lace, finger loop lace, and a form of knitting known as sprangwork. So in addition to being one of the earliest bras ever invented, perhaps this is also the first example of lingerie. 3D movies. From House of Wax to Avatar, 3D film has sporadically popped up in cinema throughout the years. However, 3D film has a much longer history than most people think. It is commonly thought that the first 3D boom was in the 1950s, which many hold as the golden age of 3D movies. But even before that, 3D movies were already showing up all across the US. In 1936, the 3D film Audioscopics earned an Academy Award for Best Short Subject. The film used the red cyan color scheme that most are familiar with. These colors are preferred because they leave fewer ghost images than others. But even in 1936, this was by no means the first time audiences have watched films in 3D. The first commercially released 3D film was The Power of Love. The film hit theatres in 1922, and it was the first movie to make use of anaglyph glasses, along with the red cyan colour scheme. Although the original print of the film is so faded that it can barely be seen, work has been done to restore it, and what researchers have been able to recover has proved quite realistic. 3D Printing in recent years, 3D printing has opened up many possibilities in a wide variety of industries, from the medical field to space exploration. But despite its popularity, most people don't know that 3D printing has actually been around for over 30 years. In 1981, a Japanese-based research institute published an account of the first functional prototype of a 3D printer. The system used photopolymers to create a solid, printed model that was built in cross-sectional layers. Only three years later, Charles Charles Hole invented stereolithography, a process which lets designers use digital data to create 3D models. By hitting them with a laser, the system would produce solid pieces of plastic. Although the system could produce 3D models, its full potential wasn't yet realized, and it was mainly valued by designers wishing to save time when creating prototypes. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Top Truths content. In the meantime, feel free to take a look at our other videos here.